Uh, so this is Bruno. Bruno, son name? Bruno Fernandez from Alabama. Fernandez. Bruno, tell us about your experience with the A N C H. Uh, to correct yourself, it's A N H C. A N H C. Sorry. Ayurvedic Natural Health Centre Private Limited, a company which was established in the year 2001 um, as a private limited company. The intention and the the wishes why I felt like to get into it is a alternative system of medicine which will keep us balanced with the nature. Once we are balanced with the nature, we are healthy because we are part and parcel of the nature. That's what Ayurveda says. Ayurveda and, and massage? Ayur massage is a fraction part of Ayurveda. Okay. Uh, Ayurveda is a science. Yeah. We have doctors getting passed out in Ayurvedic stream with five five years of uh, education. They are called BMS doctors, and then further there is masters. So, and the uh, um, science is quite a well uh, practice in Kerala. And when I first visited, I think to be specific, at least thirty years before in Kerala, like Kotakal area with the shala, I have seen queues of people waiting for the doctor for consultation. Big pharmacies where people are. Getting their medicines and follow-ups, so it shows, it showed, and it proved that this system is what can help our body to be healthy. And reading little more into Ayurveda, I came to know yes, it's it's a science where we have to live in accordance with the nature because we are nothing other than what the nature is made of. Was it tough to pass on this message initially? Uh, yeah, in Goa, especially in Goa, it was very difficult. But uh, as uh, as a Goan, I had a pleasure to do so. But I found the European culture uh, open open to it, and they followed the system of practice. This, as the doctor said to them, very obediently. Over time, it picked up. Over time, it picked up. Uh, now, uh, I would not say that uh, uh, the modern science is uh, trying to suppress it. Yeah. But this science uh, is a science by itself. The nature has given. So it's not built, made by some any human being. You look at the tree. The tree is also made of the five elements. Yeah. Our body is made of the five elements. Five elements. The nature is made of the five elements. Which are air, water, fire, space, and earth. So it's, which uh, illnesses are good to be treated this way? More preventive or what? Uh, see, it's it is eighty percent preventive. Science. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, when you when you have imbalance your body, you are inviting disease, right? Suppose there is an accident, other emergencies. Yeah, then we need uh, maybe modern science yeah. uh, allopathy, uh, allopathy uh, treatment. But in in a normal uh, situation, uh, Ayurveda, it's a, Ayur means uh, life and Veda means a knowledge. It's a books talking on, on this science. Okay, Goa maybe not happy ha, ha, had that uh, yeah. um, uh, openings for Ayurveda, but now slowly it started. We have a college in uh, Shirodha. Shirodha. Now the Ayur center is in. Uh, uh, Pe- towards Pe- the Pe- 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 right? Dargal. Dargal. and things are improving and people are getting open to it. How would you rate Goa's uh, Ayurvedic tourism role, if at all? Uh, compared to uh, 15 years back, I say it's uh, come Bro. down. Come, come down? Come down, yes, it's come down. Foreign tourists, less? Uh, the tourists, foreign tourists was about serious about it. Yeah. See, when you come for Ayurveda treatment, you have to sacrifice yourself for 21 days. It's not, it's not uh, fun. It's a full-time thing? Is a full-time thing. You have to follow the doctor's uh, Regimen. regiments. In doctor's regiments, a lot of things you have to follow. Sometimes you have to be uh, without food. Okay. Means you, you are following that procedure. Sometimes uh, you can't sleep. Yeah. You have to once you have, uh, consume the medicated ghee. You, if you sleep, then you collect the toxins in you. Okay. You have to keep on walking. A lot of other regiments are there. So it's for a holiday's purpose. It is not very okay. Uh, thing, but people who are, have experienced Ayurveda. Their, their accident, suppose two years before, their, 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 their idea, after they have gone two weeks, they say we have never me- had a need to go to a doctor. I see. So their body has clanged. So it's, it's like throwing the toxins in your body which are not required through your uh, normal uh, openings like your n- nose, mouth, your skin, your rectum and you are uh, gr- bringing yourself back into balance with the nature. This is the s- called Panchakarma. Likewise, there are many other uh, parts of massage is a some fraction part of it because it's called abhyanga. The correct word for a massage in Ayurveda is abhyanga. Abhyanga is oilation of the body to bring a uniform temperature right from your head to your toe. So these are purva karmas. These are purva karmas with any activity which is done before. And karma is a good activity. So it's a before prior good activity. So when you perform a purva karma, you are making the body ready for the un- changes the body will undergo. So in this way, this Ayurveda science is that, this is my small knowledge, I am not a doctor here, but I have an experience from 2001, uh, many doctors worked with me, 
I think as a Ayurvedic therapist, I have I had so far around 700 Ayurvedic therapists who worked with me. Wow. Many of them are in abroad now. 700. 700. Uh, And how many patients? Patients, uh, I could not name them. There were at least uh, multiples of 30 of 700. I uh, see. Uh, And uh, I'm very happy. Many of the people who has worked with us now in European countries, some are in Turkey, somebody in uh, Germany, uh, some some were in Russia. They had to come back because of this. You are in uh, now. You are in Kalangut. Now I'm based in Kalangut. Where? Yeah, it's it's called uh, uh, Porbawado. Uh, it is, if I say, it's a very uh, land a land which is very silent. You I cannot see. get the traffic noise. The last hundred uh, meters, you have to walk in. So I purposely took that and to point it out it at the back of Michael Lobo's office, Purbo Valo Kalong. And Bruno, last thing, your uh, IF connection? Yeah, that's <laughs> that's another part. As I was uh, as a uh, child of fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, was much into sports. Athletics was my favorite sports. Okay. Where this is Goa, or Bombay? In Goa, Goa. In Goa. I'm, I'm a village boy, totally. Saint Thomas, boy. Aldona. Uh, Saint Thomas boys, Aldona. I studied. Okay. okay. Uh, when come back from school, the bag was lying there, and rest of the time to play. We used to not not even wear slippers. Yeah. So there was no stones poking or something that experience. <laughs> the soles were so tough of your legs. Yeah. Uh, so, okay. Okay. So that's why sports brought me to into I. But I have wanted to do something different. So I came opposite to what I was doing there. But uh, I enjoyed being there too. I created a discipline in me, so which I know what is punctuality, uh, how to. Uh, 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 promise and deliver the things then in the right way. Thank you. His phone number nine three two five one zero eight five zero one five zero one. Thanks so much.